Hello everybody, my name is Walter and today I want to show you how you can build my 4x4 cross door which you can see here right in front of you. So this is more or less a 4x4 piston door with the major difference being that it leaves the four corners empty even if it closes. So a slightly different piston setup and circuitry are required for this. But the upside is that it allows for some very unconventional and quite nice looking layouts like this here. So as you can see, this cross design here would fit nicely into a graveyard or maybe a church. But there are, while there are some limitations to what blocks you can use, those limitations are not that severe and you can go in quite many different directions. So as you can see, many different cross shaped designs, the graveyard cross, maybe some columns or even more fancy designs as you can see here. Just a few examples here, I will go into the details of what you can do here for the layout at the end of this tutorial. Nevertheless, if you flick the lever, obviously the door will open up. And if you flick the lever again, it will close again. While it's not completely spam proofed, it's quite fast. And in my opinion, it looks very, very nice. Nevertheless, with that said, it's time to talk about the size. So this design is three blocks long, five blocks if you count the front and the back wall. It's 10 blocks wide and nine blocks high. So pretty compact actually. Now let's quickly talk about the required resources. So if you want to build this door here, you're gonna need building blocks. Then you're gonna need two slabs. You're also likely gonna need two stairs, which are actually visible in those two corners here. You're also gonna need, if you want to go, for example, with this cross shape design here, another 12 steps, uh, sorry, stairs for the cross itself. Now for redstone components, it's 12 redstone dust, two redstone torches, six repeaters, four comparators, 26 observers, eight node blocks, 24 sticky pistons, four hoppers, and a lever as an input. And with that, it's finally time to show you how to build this door here. So the first step is obviously marking where you want the opening to be. For that place right below and above the 4x4 opening, the two corner blocks in the ceiling and the floor. Those, by the way, are also the only blocks in the middle of the door that won't move around. Now, with that done, it's time for the circuitry. Now, the circuitry is completely left to right symmetric. So I will just show you how to build the right side and then move it during the cuts towards the left. So let's start with placing the pistons. For that, we go to the bottom here and first place a sticky piston facing upwards diagonally to this bottom block. Then another one upwards right next to it on the outside. Then we go two out and one up. And that's where we need another sticky piston, this time facing inwards. Go ahead and place another three on top and then two in front of the middle ones. And now we just need to mirror those to the top here. So one there and one diagonally facing downwards there. And with that, all of the main pistons are placed. Now it's time for the circuitry. For that, we go to this piston in the corner here and go diagonally behind it where we need a node block with redstone dust on top. Then towards the inside, we need an observer with the full block behind it. And then another observer towards the outside, then towards the front. Again, running to a full block with redstone dust on top and then a full block in this corner here. Now let's go behind the entire thing again. We start at the top piston here with a node block, followed by two observers powering downwards, running into a full block. Then another full block behind this top piston there. Redstone on top. Now make sure this is a cross shape. And then below it, a sticky piston with an observer powering inwards. Next, on top of the dot and the node block, we need a observer powering downwards. And on top of the observers, we need comparators going backwards with hoppers running into each other behind them. On top of the inwards hopper, we need a full block with a torch towards the other wall. And then on the outwards hopper, we place four items inside of the inventory. Now at this point, you might notice that this piston here has bit ordered its observer, which needs to be in the detected state actually. 
A simple fix for that is just giving this comparator here a quick single on double tap. A very quick double tap if you want to go with that. And this should be in the correct state again. Now let's go to the front and this time we go to the second of those pistons here and place our node block there. Then towards the inside we need an observer running into a full block. Make sure this is a full block. Then on top of the node block we need an observer powering downwards with a repeater on top and this repeater needs to be on four ticks and as you can see if you're slow enough this uh, double piston next to you should be in the correct state again. Then go to this hopper here on the inside, place a sticky piston facing downwards in front of it with a observer powering outwards and below. On top of the sticky piston we need our last node block and now it's time for the slab, which needs to be next to this piston in the middle there. Then place a normal block towards the outside. We need a repeat on, sorry, a repeat on one tick running into this block. We have some redstone dust here. Then at the back, we need one block here with a repeat on four ticks going towards the back. Then an observer looking at the repeater from the outside, then one below it, looking upwards, and then a full block in this corner again. And now all we need to do is run our wire over here. And this is our input line. So I quickly place a lever here. And once you have mirrored everything, except for the lever that is, it's now finally time to fill in the actual moving parts of the door. For that, uh, let's start in those four corners here. Those will be moved in when the door is closed to fill in some gaps in the wall. And then we have the 12 blocks that will later on be moved together to form the actual cross shape, which are in those four. And now final test run. You can see the door is closed properly with the cross shape in the middle and opens up, which means now it's time to fill in the gaps in the walls, floor, ceiling and so on. And also consider the actual layout you want to go for with this door here. And here we go. So as you can see, this door is now completely finished. I've decided to go with this graveyard design here. And um, well, there are just two things I need to mention here yet. The first is if you want to silence the Node blocks here, just put a block on top. And the second is um, that this block here and this block here are actually stairs blocks, as you can see there. The reason is if this piston here retracts and pulls back the observer there, it would power a full block here, which would power the redstone wire down there and the door would self-destruct. So to avoid that, use a transparent block in those two positions here. Besides of that, the uh, last thing I need to talk about is the possible layouts. So um, there are some limitations if you don't want to have any pistons visible when the door is opened and closed. And I have summarized them here. So in the middle, you can use slabs. Then at the top, you can use full blocks, you can use slabs or stairs, but if you use the latter two, they need to be the upside down variant. And correspondingly at the bottom, you can use all of the blocks, but stairs and steps need to be the right side up. Furthermore, on the sides, you can use either full blocks or stairs, but if you're using stairs, they need to be in the shown here configuration. Now, this may limit you a bit, but as you can see, there are a lot of different layouts you can go with, from the plain and simple cross shape to a slightly more elaborate cross shapes, then you can also go with stairs setups, as you can see here from the graveyard, the fancy double cross here, or floating cross, then this kind of bar design. You can also implement or include steps here, so this floating chain design, or you can go with a slightly less upside down, uh, up down symmetrical layout, as you can see here. So there are many, many different options Obviously, this is just a few. Uh, there are many, many more. 
And with that out of the way, we have finally reached the end of this tutorial for this 4x4 cross-shaped door. I hope you enjoyed it, and well, see ya!